Welcome back to Let's Make a Game, the channel where we are making a computer role-playing game using the free program Twine and the Sugarcube format for Twine. In this video, I would like to talk very briefly about debugging, which is to say finding the errors in your, in your game and fixing them. Um, broadly speaking, there are two categories of errors. Uh, one where the program will spot that there's an error and will give you an error message, and one where it won't, where the program will still run, but it won't do the thing that you want it to do. And it's the first category, the one where you actually get an error message, um, which I want to show you an example of today. This is, what it'll look, this is what it will look like when you first get the error. Now, there might be text or something under here. It can sometimes keep running despite there being errors. Um, but in this case, there isn't. Um, this is what a little. This is what it will look like when you first get the error. There is a arrow that you can click to reveal the lines of code that are generating the problem. And if that, if the, if the code that it thinks has the problem doesn't appear, or, or sorry, is too, there's too much code to appear. There'll be a slider, and you can. Um, slide it along to access the rest of the code. Um, often you'll get a series of errors like this. Um, in that case, I would advise you to look at the first error and fix that and then see if the other errors happen because often when you fix the first error, the other errors will disappear. I mean, even if it's not true, you have to look at one at a time anyway. Even if there's multiple errors, you have to f fix one at a time. So you might as well fix one. And and secondly, when there's um, when there's an error, of course, each bit of code relies on the previous bit of code having done something. And so if it doesn't do the thing it's supposed to do, the next bit of code can generate an error, even though the next bit of code might be fine it's fine, but what it's getting from the previous code isn't fine, and so therefore there's an error. So um, I would always say, if you get error messages, go for the, the top one first. Now, just uh, as an exercise, I would uh, advise you to pause the video at this point and have a look and see, um, see if you can spot what the error is, um, and I will tell you that the error is one that you will be able to spot just using what's on the screen. You won't have to, sometimes that's not the case. Sometimes sometimes the bit that generates the error isn't the bit that's wrong. It's it's that it too relied on a previous bit of code that, that hasn't done what you, what you thought you were doing. Um, but in this case, I will tell you that um, you can spot the error uh, from the code that, that is on this screen. And secondly, that the error is one that uh, is based on things I've already told you. In other words, I'm not going to uh, come up with a new command or a new rule or something and that be, the, that be the problem. The problem will be related to something that I've covered previously in the series. So pause the video now and when you're ready, I will continue. Okay, so did you spot it? Um, I'll tell you what the problem is. The problem, and this is probably the most common uh, category of error, just a sort of uh, an extra character in the wrong place or, or, or a character missing. You notice here that we have set ms, which is an array, set ms hx equals and square brackets. In other words, we're um, saying that the we're looking at the ms array, and we're looking at the slot number hx, whatever the, that variable is, and we're setting that to be an array itself. In other words, we're setting this up to be um, a two-dimensional array. Um, and at the start, we have these. Um, 
less less than symbols, but and, and we have two of them. But at the other side, we have only one, um, and that that is the error. We always need to when we sort of open a command with with two, um, which we do whenever we have a command that's uh, specific to Twine. That's not a that's not a command that comes from JavaScript or HTML. Then we also and we also have to close it with two, and we've only put one, and so that's generated the error. And then um, it seems as if because we haven't set this array within MS, or we haven't turned that that particular slot into a two, into into an array, we're getting all these errors that relate to MS as well. It's not able to it's not able to access that two dimensional um, location that we're telling it to. Um, to access. So unfortunately um, the error doesn't it doesn't tell you what page it was on um, but I'll show you what you can do. Let's we'll get this and we'll copy it and then we'll go into the actual code Um, we'll go over to the relevant part, and we can use the find function. Um, you probably noticed that the code I've added uh, quite a lot of code, and it's getting a little bit messy. I do need to think about how to um, how to arrange it in a better way. But anyway, not for today. Uh, today we're going to find, well, use the find and replace function, but we won't be replacing something. We'll just be finding, and we paste that code in there, and it will highlight in yellow every passage that has um, that has that particular text in it, and we can see that there's only one in this um, set of pages, and it's explore two. And so we go in there and we look for where that might be, and there it is. I'll, I'll So that is an example of the most common um, sort of error that you'll get. And when we do that, we might find that we have no more errors, or we might find that we um, we get a different error because now that's working, but but something later down the line is um, is causing an error. But you know. That's just the, the programmer's lot, unfortunately. So um, I will publish to file with, um, because I that there. Uh, do I want to replace it? Yes, I do. And um, hopefully, when we run this again, we won't get the same error. So I happen to know um, when this error is being generated. Um, it's being generated when you go too far west or east. Um, so I'm going to try to um, try to generate it again, and it looks like I can. Uh, it looks like it looks like it's not happening. Um, this is another unfortunate, and there I see a settlement. So um, it looks like we've uh, fixed the uh, the error. Um, another problem with um, fixing errors that you're going to have to get used to is that um, if you have fixed the error, you won't get the error. But also, if you just happen not to uh, trigger the situation that causes the error, you also won't get the error. So if you get an error, you know there's definitely an error, but you never sort of know there's definitely not an error. Um, you just have to, um, I'll just have to keep, you know, keep playing it and keep playing it. And if there's not that error, eventually I'll sort of conclude, okay, well, it must be definitely fixed. Um, again, that's one of the sort of hard um, bits about, about playtesting. And unfortunately, the only... Um, the only solution is just to test it a lot. Don't um, don't run it once and go, oh good, I fixed it. 
um, because you might just have been, well, lucky or unlucky. Um, you might just have run it and happen not to trigger the particular situation, unfortunately. Um, but that is a very simple example of, of debugging. Um, I hope that was useful or interesting to at least some of you, and I hope you will tune in next time.